Hey guys, what's up? I'm Bama here, and today we'll be showcasing the Manic Eraser Cat. Um, I'm on my out, so I just got Manic Eraser Cat on my out, not my main. Oops, I clicked the wrong one. I meant to go to the challenge. <laughs> so anyway, um, okay, this is totally unprofessional. Anyway, so today we'll be showcasing the Manic Eraser Cat in the challenge mode. Yeah, I got it on my own. I also found a formula on how to beat the stage, so I'll be talking about how to beat the stage later on. I won't actually have the gameplay footage of beating the stage. I'll probably try to get it out in another video. But I actually found like a formula. Oh wait, I'm, I'm supposed to showcase this guy. I found a formula like the a long distance scan and all that. Okay, I'll talk about it later on. <laughs> try not to get too excited. So anyway, this guy looks like a chocolate bar, looks like an ice cream sandwich, looks like an eraser. A Craster Eraser. He has 15,720 health points. Attack power of 85. Attack range of 110. The movement speed of 16. He actually had a huge movement speed buff from the previous. It's actually really really quickly compared to the previous. The previous form which was called uh, Manic Wall Cat. Huge, huge buff or upgrade from that. As you can see it actually can tank a whole lot of hits from the and all that, 15,000 health, that's a lot, that's like, around like, I would say, a level, 6, 50 to 60 Eraser Cat, that's a lot, you know, and it's like, basic, if you have a chance to get him, you definitely have to get him, because he's basically like a necessity in the later stages, uh, because of his movement speed now, it also uh, makes it better to tank, like the meat shields will be, will come in more alternately, so they'll be able to tank the enemies better and more easily. Go ahead and fire a cat cannon there. Yep, so this guy is actually really good. So definitely get him, definitely. Uh, okay, I'll just quickly end off the stage. Uh, if you have any uh, questions about him, let me uh, ask me in the comments below. If you have problem beating him, and then you you have a, a few cats, ask me about them in the comments also. Yeah. Uh, yep, that's pretty much it. Also, um, yeah, there's a, the pros are that I have the wiki open right here. The pros are that he has a high... High health, but then low attack power, but obviously it's a tank, right? Having low attack power is great. Oh, and recently I just drew uh, Awakened Bahamut, so it had very great support on it. So, if you guys would like to have more of those sketches, please comment down below what Uber you would like me to draw. I'll speed out it again, if you want to request some music, it's okay. Anything, request anything. Okay, so I'll have a talk right now about how to be the manic eraser cat so um i think i removed the slot yeah i removed the slot already so essentially how to beat it right first you must get five meat shields five meat shields are definitely a necessity like definitely five um these are the meat shields i picked so uh obviously it was crazy wall cat then i used crazy macho cat these guys are like my best meat shields. If you have any better meat shields somehow, definitely use them. But don't use too much like those uh rice ball cat because it's too expensive and it will mess up the cat CPU. Then um following following that we'll bring over the craze grass. The reason we're using the craze grass of obviously for its shortwave, right? I haven't got uh manic many girls yet because um I'm on my out la the, on, I managed to do like the fastest many girls on YouTube. I'm actually pretty proud of that. So anyway, the many girls is used to uh attack when when the Calibaras are out which are the red biting things, they have high health, they'll be used to attack the Calibaras. Then they'll basically hit either the Cory the Gories, the black Gories or the owls at the back. And then uh we'll be using I don't have Nyan Dam yet on this out, even though I'm quite high up in SOL, I don't actually, haven't actually unlocked Nyan Dam yet. So, uh, we'll use Chris Bahamut. Definitely Chris Bahamut. Then Ururun Cat. Ururun Cat is definitely you need, you need her for this stage, it's incredibly important. Her knockback is priceless because of 
how like strong the magnetic eraser is. So we have four more slots. Uh, then we have to bring in the King Dragon Cat. King Dragon Cat prices for its range. Don't use um, don't use Dragon Cat because it messes up the cat CPU. It's too it recharges too fast. It has too high DPS. So like it sort of messes up the cat CPU. Then uh. Following that, we need a long distance cat, which is usually Leo Nyan Dam. In this situation, I'll use a black. I'll use the black cat because I don't have Leo Nyan Dam, but I know you guys have Leo Nyan Dam. Basically, if you don't have Leo Nyan Dam, you either need to replace it with a long distance Uber, or which I use the black cat lah. Long distance Uber, which can outrange the owls, or you can use nut cat, but it's not advised. It's really, really difficult to pull this off. So basically this is a load up, replace black cat with nine dam and basically go to stage. I'll just pretend the Titan Maniac is the uh manic tank, then you need to beat it by you bring in the cat CPU, the rich cat. You can actually have sniper cat if you want, but sniper cat is not really a necessity, it's gonna be really helpful though. Okay, so that was my manic eraser showcase and how to beat the stage. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, 